Well, now, you see, this involves certain ideas that are quite alien to the West. One, the idea of the world as play. Our Lord God in the West tends to be over-serious. And no great Christian artist has ever painted a laughing Christ or a smiling Christ. Nothing that I've seen of any of the great masters. Always this figure is tragic and has that sort of look in the eye which says, one of these days you and I have got to get together for a very serious talk. This figure is tragic and has that sort of look in the eye which says, one of these days you and I have got to get together for a very serious talk. So you see, there is some difficulty about the, the notion of the world as dramatic play. There's another difficult notion, and that is cyclic time. See, most of us live in linear time. This originated with St. Augustine and his interpretation of the Bible. They don't think of the world having been created many, many times before and come to an end many, many times before. It's one clear ascent from start to finish, from Alpha to Omega. From Alpha to Omega. From Alpha to Omega. From Alpha to Omega. When St. Augustine was thinking about this, he thought, if time is cyclic, Jesus would have to be crucified for the salvation of the world once in every cycle. What they call sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. These days you and I have got to get together for a very serious talk. The Greeks also had cyclic time like the Hindus. But we have been handed down linear time, and therefore we are always thinking of a progression that will take us steadily, 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 faster and faster to a more and more perfect world. And it will get better, 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 all the way along if we keep our heads. This shows, I think, a rather naive view of human nature. Human beings tend to smash what they create and say, let's do it again. And so it isn't really too realistic to suppose that human beings will simply get better, 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 because they'll soon get tired of it. They let's be as awful as possible. How awful can you get? How brutal can you be? How destructive? We are converting all the living world around us into excrement in this stream of food which whirls around as us and then disappears into excrements which again fertilize the soil and uh, well, we keep on at it. So you see, there is that thing in us which is represented by Shiva Kali. How awful can you get? How brutal can you get? How destructive. The Hindu looks at the world with very, very 
hard-boiled realism in its way, and sees terror and magnificence, love and fury as two faces of the same thing. And the Hindu sometimes feels, Oh, Brahma, don't you ever get tired of it? Per omnia saecula saeculo, the world without it. Per omnia saecula saeculo. Oh, Brahma, don't you ever get tired of it? Now then, supposing you liken the rhythm of these cycles to music. Why, surely, you don't hurry it up. You don't say, let's get to the end faster. You know how to listen to music only when you slow down time. Sit back and let that be. And so, in the same way, you can see every little detail of life in a new way. So, oh my, look at that. And so, uh, one's eyes are opened in astonishment by being living totally here now.